Hi guys, in today's video I have Rain's Cage Tour for November 2017. So Rain is my Syrian hamster, as you guys can currently see is on a climbing frame thing. She's gonna jump inside that wheel. Look. You've used this so many times, mate. Yeah, so she is a female Syrian, as I once said. She's just over a year old. I adopted her August last year, so she's roughly around about a year and a half. She's around about eight weeks when I got her. So yeah, just under a year and a half. And she is super, super active. She is the biggest one out of all my hamsters and gerbils. She is the most active, the most cheeky. She's just the most everything, really. And she lives in the Barney cage from zooplus.co.uk. This cage is 100 by 54 centimetres. And she loves this cage. This is one of my top Syrian cages if you have an active Syrian. Bacon, my male, who lives in a Alexa Alaska, sorry. He is not as active. <laughs> and to answer you, he just prefers the smaller cage. I don't know why. I've had him in a Barney. He just didn't really like it. So yeah, so let's begin with the cage tour. So the substrate I'm currently using is an um, easy bed and it's like it's like Orbeos, it's very 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 similar to Orbeos, it's just a lot cheaper. <laughs> so Orbeos by me is retails around about £10 for a 20 kilogram bag, this stuff retails for around about 6 I pay around about, yeah I think I pay around about £6 for this, which isn't bad. I love 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 my ho local horse supplier, it's a lot cheaper than the one I used to go to, so you know, super duper cheap. What are you doing, missus? So yeah, so that's the bedding I use. I normally do go put a lot more bedding in. It's just, I have to go buy some more. I need to go out and get some more. I need to clean the other guys. It's just rain. I skipped a spot clean a couple of days ago to go do a full clean today. So, you know, to skip a spot clean, I need to clean her. <laughs> so just over here, she has her purple plastic house from... I'm just going to go put this little girl in here. Her purple plastic house from Pets at Home. And I love these. I've got another one in blue for bacon. So yeah. So that is that. Just next to that she has a piece of bogwood. I get all my bogwood from the range. I love the range for bogwood. It's super duper inexpensive in there. It's like one ninety nine, And you get huge. Like look because I left my hand to the bogwood. You do get a lot of bogwood. But I used to get my bogwood from... Um, I think it might have been. Oh no, yeah, it was a Viovet, and they're really, really kind of expensive. They're roughly around the same price, but you get like a little, little piece. If you guys look at my smallest piece of bogwood, that's from Viovet. I think the problem is though, because you can't choose the bogwood, it's not as good. <laughs> so over here, she has a small bendy bridge, and I use this kind of like, I'm supposed to this way. I use it as like a thingy to go attached to her, or the bigger box bigger bendy bridge to go to help her to go up to her ladder. She doesn't really need it but I just feel like she does. And then just back there she has a piece, a bamboo tunnel. I love these bamboo tunnels. My sister got this from a local shop by her friends a couple of years ago for my past Syrian cashew. And as you guys can see it's been very popular with all my other Syrians. And if dwarfs actually. And just back there she has her 11 inch Trixie rodent wheel. I love this wheel. My favourite wheel. Rain is the one hamster who really, really uses her wheels. She can't fit in an in, in an eight inch like bacon or rain, like bacon or pinky. But she is yeah, she's a big girl and she needs a big wheel. Just here she has her climbing frame and this is also the gerbil's climbing frame. I didn't wash it between use, so you know. But they all love this climbing frame. And I got that from zooplus.co.uk. I do tend to get a lot of my stuff from Zooplus. And just back here she has a house that comes with the cage with some um toilet tissue in and this house is super duper popular it's really big it's a really nice size i could fit a baby guinea pig in this so you know you can fit a serene in there and then just back here she has a terracotta plant pot and then up here she has a, a variety of chews and rain is a huge wood chew like she loves wood she's only had this chew in for a couple of days and as you guys can see it's already near enough destroyed this one she's had for a bit longer she has made this big pets at home one, which I'm kind of annoyed at because I did pay quite a bit for two shoes. Here and bacon. Like, oh no, here and apple and melon. Yeah, I haven't really chewed them. So yeah, I'm now just going to go put, pop the platform on, pop a bottle bowl in, and I will be back in a minute. Hi guys, so I've now put the top on reins in the cage. I've added a couple of things, I've changed a couple of things. So yes, let's kind of show you what I've done. 
I've, I've just added a whimsy chew and one of these apple button things I think they're called the rosy apple drops from I think I got these from Jollies so yeah very impressed they were really really good price as well and I got the whimsy from Jollies just here she has her medium bendy bridge which just helps her get up and just there she has a food a food dish which has her main seed mix and a bit of pepper and some broccoli that she's already taken and just under there she has one of these grassy mats and then just here she has her big sand dish which is just a like storage cupboardy thing with some chinchilla sand in oh yeah and then hanging up she has this sharp and grant play gym and she has this big wilco play gym i got this a couple of months ago i got this a couple of years ago and then here she has a pink sabbat kind of level thing that she got that i got from a hamster heaven that i got broke and i kind of just kept the parts and sold the cage so yes thank you guys for watching please comment and subscribe when she's using her wheel and i will see you guys oh yeah sorry here she has him in deluxe water bottle in a fair passport bottle holder <laughs> completely forgot about that but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. And thank you guys for all the love and support. And yes, my next video will... Oh no. I'm going to be editing Spinach's tribute video soon. I just haven't had the time. I've been busy with college. And then all the emotions. That and all that. Just, you know, I've had a pretty hard time lately. So, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. Please comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Say bye. Oh my god, you're very cute. See, bye.